And it's the whole reason why the, the, the book is named Confessions. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is true. That That's very true. And there is an aspect of confessions. I, I was very hard on engineers. I'm very hard on the profession. I'm very hard on Springfield. Um, but I also hope that it comes through that I was hard on myself a little bit, you know, too, in, in that. I, I do not stand apart from them. Yeah. Um, I stand with them. Uh, but I'm, I'm walking in a different way and I want them to walk with me in that way, not uh, resist coming along this this path we need to travel. And it's a very, very important path that we need to travel. I mean, this is, we're talking about reforming uh, a profession, you know, the yeah. planning and engineering professions, when it comes down to engineering and, you know, the confessions of an engineer, that's one of the topics. That's one of the themes that is in the book. But you also are living this theme too of, of the need to reform this profession and and you said it earlier, and you said it in Oklahoma City at uh, at CNU. I mean, these streets are killing people, and it is gross negligence. Yes, you're going through a little bit of of this, and you're getting some bumps and bruises uh, for this. <laughs> so, for those uh, folks who do follow your podcast, you gave us a, an update on the whole licensure uh, drama that has unfolded. What's the update? Well, uh, the update is that I'm I'm done with the licensing board now. Uh, so since you and I last spoke, um, my license has reached its 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 end, uh, and I could extend it, but I opted not to. I opted to enter what in the engineering uh, profession here in Minnesota they would call retirement status. So I'm technically a retired engineer. And for those people who don't know uh, what's going on, I have received multiple complaints filed against me. Uh, to the licensing board at the state. Uh, the licensing board at the state is tasked with overseeing licensed engineers and the work that they do. Uh, the complaints that they receive are typically along the lines of someone committed a fraud, they lied in a contract, they were incompetent, they're practicing engineering, they're out signing plans or, or soliciting work and they don't have a license. It's this kind of thing. Um, but my complaints against me were, you know, he wrote something I didn't like, or he presented ideas I, I didn't uh, agree with. The latest complaint that was filed against me, however, had a, a small technical hook to it. Um, I, as an engineer, I'm supposed to renew my license every couple of years. I haven't signed any plans since, two, since the spring of 2000. Uh, I haven't done any work that required an engineering license since 2012 uh, in, in any way. And you know, uh, your license is on a couple year window. When my license came up for renewal, I didn't even think to renew it. I didn't get a notice in the mail. You're supposed to kind of voluntarily go out and do this. I forgot. Um, I continued to have professional engineer on my bio, uh, which in a technical sense is a violation of state law. If you are claiming to be a professional engineer and you don't have a current license, uh, you're in violation of state law. Now, that state law is written under the, you know, building code, uh, uh, you know, the, the administrative section, and it's meant to apply to people who are out representing themselves in the practice of engineering as, you know, like, I can build that bridge, I can build that road, I can sign that plans, let me give you, a, you know, guidance on, on how to do this specific engineering thing. It's not meant to apply to people who are writing a blog and giving speeches and, and doing that. But nonetheless, someone made a complaint against me uh, saying that I was out giving speeches and I was out talking and I didn't have a license. Um, the time that complaint got to me, I had renewed my license. I'd figured this out. I had seen that it had lapsed. I had done all the continuing ed and all the stuff you need to keep your license current. So I just filled out the paperwork and sent it in. Um, so in a sense, it was like a technical, uh, I had a period of time where I wasn't licensed where my bio said I was. Uh, the licensing board uh, came back to me and I think they had first thought they had caught me, right? Cause they, you know, they were very aware of me. That became clear very quickly. They knew who I was, um, but they assumed that I had been out signing plans or doing consulting work, or whatever. When they found out I didn't, they started to become really, really obsessed uh, with th the talks that I had gave. 
I'll, I'll skip all the stuff because we've had a year of federal court litigation, state court litigation. Uh, everything kind of went back to the licensing board has the authority to act independently. And I don't get to fight their authority at all until they render a final decision on this. Uh, they rendered that final decision uh, this week. Um, the final decision uh, for me, they found me uh, guilty on eight counts of, uh, of claiming to be a professional engineer uh, in the practice of engineering uh, when I was not uh, currently licensed. For that, they have censured me, uh, which is, you know, like the, the highest form of, of uh, disgust they can express. Um, they have reprimanded me. They fined me $1,500. Uh, they made findings that I acted willfully uh, with dishonesty. Uh, I misled the public. I misled the board. Um, John, th this is so like bizarre over the top. You can go through all the orders that they've issued on yeah. their site are on their site. You can go through and you can see people who have done like truly heinous things, yeah. right? Like built things where stuff fell down, built things they weren't qualified for, claimed, claimed uh, titles they weren't uh, allowed to have in the practice of actually doing engineering, not out writing a blog or giving lectures or what have you. Yeah. Um, and those people have not been censured right? Uh, the, the, the board has not expressed official disgust with them. Um, this is a very personal thing. And what you see, and I, I, I'm free to say this now because I never have to go back to this board for anything. I, I've been trying to work this out with them. And I, I, I acknowledge that I had used PE in my bio during a lapse of my licensure. I was willing to pay a fine. I was willing to say I wasn't willing to uh, say that I lied or was dishonest. Um, because I haven't been, um, but this group, which is a cartel of the engineering profession, uh, l sanctioned by the state to, to, to do this kind of work, has used the authority and power of the state to enforce a trademark infringement on me uh, for the use of the word professional engineer, not related to engineering, not related to the practice of engineering, not related to anything I've done, but just as a way to defame me, defame the Strong Downs movement, and to silence other engineers who would stand up and say similar things. Other engineers who would stand up and say similar things are now uh, on notice that they are targets. And if you have a, a lapse in licensure or you say something that is, a, th they're going to drag you in and force you to go through hearings. They're going to, they're going to try to tar and feather you. Uh, they're going to put your life through hell. So it's best to just keep your mouth shut. Strong downs, we're not going to, we're not going to take this. We are filing an appeal in the state court of appeals. Um, there's a process you have to follow. We have to go to the state court of appeals. We just go to the state Supreme Court if, 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 if their ruling is upheld. Uh, ultimately, we will end up in federal court, uh, and the federal courts have a, a long history of being hostile towards government cartels that express, exhibit this kind of uh, rogue uh, kind of, you know, uh, smackdown of, of people's free speech uh, using their power to, in a sense, intimidate people. Yeah. So- it's sad. I'm when I started this process. You know, you, you go back to 2015 when the very first complaint was lodged against me for something I wrote. Um, my assumption was that the licensing board would be a dignified place. John, I, I live in the state of Minnesota. We like to think that we're all above average, and not above <laughs> average in terms of like you know whatever, but like our 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 discourse, our way of doing things our way of interacting with each other. We're not going to be petty. We're not going to be small. We're not going to do, you know, if you said New Jersey and like Chris Christie and whatever, you know, was like using the power of the state to sanction some guy they didn't like. Okay. Like those are the things that go on out there. It's a full contact sport here in Minnesota. We don't do those things. Yeah. But yeah. We do those things. Yeah. <laughs> if we you're do. In and, the engineering and, field, you do. <laughs> I, I think that has been the most disappointing thing to me is yeah. that, I have a lot of, I'm, I think if you were going to criticize me in terms of this interaction that I've had is that I was naive and believed in the best intent of the people involved in this. And 
it is very clear now that this cartel, the state licensing board, uh, is using their power and authority to attack me and to threaten and intimidate other engineers. And it's disgusting. It, it makes me, it makes me really sad, really, really sad. Yeah. And to be clear, I mean, every state has something similar to this in terms of the licensing board and it's out there and, and, and Chuck, how dare you? I mean, seriously, how dare you threaten the status quo of the all omnipotent power of the engineers? But it, it, that's ex- it, essentially is it what what you were doing in that book is you were calling out, uh, you know, the fact that this is insane that people continue yeah. to be killed on these roads, and they they will not hear being criticized. No, they won't. Standpoint. And I I go when when I give a public lecture on the confessions uh, material. Uh, or, or even you go through the book. I, I, I try to explain how we got here. And I try to explain how we got here in a way that uh, gives people in the profession today an out, right? Um, and, and part of this is giving myself an out, right? The, this is the approach that I was, I was given. This is what I was taught in school. This is what I was taught uh, as an engineer in training. This is what my my mentors and my elders and, and the people in this profession that I learned from taught me how to do. And they learned it from people and they learned it from people. But you go back and see like, how did this all start? We were trying to build an interstate system across a continent. Uh, we were trying to pump out uh, lots and lots of money to keep our economy from going back into depression after the end of World War II. Uh, and we took all of this kind of stuff around building highways and we said, if it works great there, it'll work even better in the middle of our cities. Um, It was a wrong idea. It was a wrong approach. And I try to give people an out. I try to give people like, I I get it. You've walked into this profession and this is what you've been handed. Uh, But step back with me and walk down a different path and and, and have a different recognition. Um, In the absence of that, and I I think even with that, um, it's clear what needs to happen. And I'm going to say this in 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 a very direct way. Uh, to local leaders, to mayors, city council members, activists in a community. Our local streets should not be designed by engineers. 